If you're not yet a subscriber, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also the little bell icon so you can be alerted each and every time we make a new video. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. This is the neighborhood. That's the last neighborhood on uh, Marsh Bend. And there you can see the road closure, how it's all closed off. There I am. Okay, let's go ahead and fly over this area now. We'll kind of go up a little bit higher to give you a good overview and Let's get going. So there's the turnpike over to the right. Little wetlands area over there too as well. And as you can see in the middle of the screen, that green area there, those are wetlands as well. So you cannot build in wetlands. And you can see at the bottom there how wet that area is. But they're trying to fill in as much as they can with the land that they have. They've kind of uh, sectioned this wetlands area off with a retention pond over there to the right. And so this is the area. It's not a very large area right now that they're developing in, but they're trying to go ahead and complete as much as they can. And this is the property that they had left over before they ended it on Marsh Bend. All right, so let's go ahead and go on over to the majority of the construction area. Not a whole lot to see right now at this point. Pretty much raw land that they're developing. There's a little bit of a closer view of the wetlands. And then flying through this area. Looks like a um, an area where they have stored a bunch of fill for now. That fill probably came out of that retention pond right there. And there's your turnpike again. And it looks like they are gonna build some homes uh, that face the turnpike. So we're gonna go ahead and fly on back to where we were. And I'm gonna show you how close that the uh, golf cart bridge is that's going over that turnpike. So there is a little bit of a buffer between the turnpike and the infrastructure they're putting in. Looks like a little, another little retention area right there. And some wetlands coming off from the turnpike. And then you see all your underground piping getting ready to be put in. All right, so there's the road right in the middle of the screen that we started at. And then that wetlands area to our left which they have used as a buffer from the turnpike. And I, th I thought they should use a little more of this land as a buffer. So there's some more uh, of the property. And then across the street on the other side of the turnpike, that's gonna be a huge development area for the village's developer. But you can see the buffer they've used now between the road and the neighborhoods. Little look back on some of the other property, which probably a lot of that, probably most of that is all wetlands. And that's why you don't see any 
homes developed on there. But there's our golf cart bridge. We're gonna uh, go up a little bit, fly on over there, and then I'm gonna get right over the turnpike here. So there's a real good look at the bridge and the ramp coming off of the bridge. Lake Okahumka up there in the, uh, in the foreground and um, Megasin Road on the other side of the, of the turnpike there. Megasin Road runs right up to um, Brownwood. I want to get a good view of the, uh, of the bridge itself. So there you go, with the village's sign on it. It's pretty impressive at night, too, because it's all lit up. So there's an excellent view of that golf cart bridge. One thing I haven't understood is why they didn't paint that bridge. It's kind of very rustic looking and rusty. I'm sure that was intentional. I'm kind of just wondering years down the road if that's not gonna cause a problem with the rust. So there's a recreation center below us, more wetlands, and uh, now you have a little shot of the golf course in the area. So we'll go ahead and head on back to the end of Marsh Bend here where we started. Kind of flying over the wetlands area, the buffer between Marsh Bend Road and uh, the Turnpike and give you an idea of the neighborhood there all the way at the end of this road. And then Brown went off in the distance. And the turnpike, as you can see, it's a well-traveled road there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start coming in for a landing here. Looks like the village's developer has uh, done a really good thing with a wall now behind these homes to help with traffic noise. I kind of thought they should have done that over there in Linden, the village of Linden. Okay, so uh, we'll finish it up here and we'll see you down on the ground.